I have been with my haircut for one year and I am super excited and proud of myself because I'm that girl that cannot go with my hair band one type of way without going freaking stir crazy or yeah just just stir crazy because I just like change but I really have been embracing the little cut and like everybody says it compliments my head my face you know, I was like, you know, I was a bit worried because you don't know what's underneath that head when you have it. And when you cut it all off, you kind of got to face reality and be like, well, if I look like an alien head, then I look like an alien head. But um, I'm excited. And you know what? What I really realized by having my hair down low is that you really can't hide from the dirtiness you used to be when you had hair. Like, come on, you know how it is. Because when I had my hair and I knew it was time for a wash, but I didn't feel like doing it, you know, you just wet the front part and you get all that looking nice and pretty and put in a ponytail because you're just being lazy and dirty. Like, I was that person. So now it's like... When I don't feel like dealing with my hair, even though you're in the shower and just washing your hair, or sometimes you just don't want to wash it, even though I don't, even though I don't have hair, I still sometimes don't feel like washing my hair. Like I'm kind of, I don't know how to break that habit, but I'm trying to like wash my hair at least every other time I get in the shower. Um, when I first cut my hair off, I wash my hair every day, and my hair. And my head seems to love it. Like, I know your hair loves water and whatever. But when I wash my hair every single day, my hair just came out really soft once, once it grew out. When I cut down on washing my hair every single day, my hair, when it grew out, wasn't as soft as the first time. So, you know, I made this on it again. But, um, but I need to cut my hair off again. So, this is another cut my hair video. And just some talking while I'm, before I cut my hair because what I realized as well is that you really can't neglect your hair. Like having your hair cut, yes, it's empowering. You feel beautiful. You just love it because it's maintenance free. It's not as maintenance free as you think it is because again, like you still have to protect your scalp. You still have to moisturize your hair. You still have to do all the things you did before. Even though it's little, you don't have to do, you don't have to do so much but as soon as you wash your hair and you don't put nothing on your scalp or your hair, you're going to get dandruff. And you're going to walk around with white patches in your head because somebody's going to see it. Or you scratch your head and you see little flakes. That has happened. I felt really embarrassed. And I was like, oh, let me go in the bathroom real quick and wet my head. Like, it's, it's real out here. So I had to really be like, you know what? I had to, like, assess myself to be like, well, I need to do better. So what I do is when I wash my hair every other day, I use head and shoulders to maintain my dandruff because that was a major problem I had when I had my hair was my front part, like all this area right here would be dry, but everything else would be perfect. And it was like, no matter what I put on my hair, no matter what I put on my scalp, it just would always get dandruff and dandruff and dandruff, like cake, like, like flake, like I could pluck it off and you see the big old flake on my finger kind of dandruff. But now that my hair is gone and I'm able to really get my scalp with the um, head and shoulders and the other products, it has been at bay. But I can definitely tell when, oh, I wash my hair today and then I don't put nothing else on my scalp every other day because you just don't think about it. But you have to put something on your hair to moisturize it, to grease it, to whatever every single day because your hair and your scalp is open to the elements and your scalp is being dried out so much quicker from the air and the sun and the environment is like your hair not covering that up so you know that's just something i wanted to <laughs> throw out there to you people maybe interested in cutting your hair or is cutting your hair you maybe can relate because i'd be catching myself like oh i gotta wash my hair real quick but the beauty is it takes me about less than five minutes to wash my hair versus almost almost an hour to get everything done when I had hair. So that is the beauty of having no hair. Um, but yeah, so again, enjoying the best me with my little do. And the only other problem is like I'm really just trying to figure out how to cut my hair differently because I'm always doing the same kind of cut. And I try to find a barber around where I live at, but they kind of 
don't do nothing really different. I'm trying to find one of those slick, cool barbers and like throw little dot lines and stuff and little sayings and little pictures and stuff in my head. But I haven't found nobody yet, so I'm still looking. Oh, a wall clippers is a very old, like he had this thing for some decades, but I don't feel I gotta buy me some fresh, glistening, high price clippers to get the hairstyle I want. When that time comes, I'll do that. But until then, these old beat up ones is what I have. It's what I'm going to use. So, thank you guys for watching. y'all how I do my hairline I mean I am not a professional by any means but I just do it based upon what I've seen it done and what I f where I know my hair lines normally is cut at so you know so what I do is I brush all my hair down on the sides especially in the front and the way I want it to lay normally And then I find the two points in the front of my hair. And I know that it's going to go down like this. Because that's how my hairline goes. And then it's like a little box that goes round. So I know that it has to go here. So what I do is, I start in the center. Relax my face. then I brush so I get the line in the front so since the camera's on this way I'm gonna just do this side so my line stops there
and that's how I do my hairline. I think I'm done. So what y'all think? I think I did good. This time I just did it all one length. Last time I had, cause she called a fee. Um, but I did it all one length this time. Thank you guys for watching.